Hi everyone, Glenn here from rewiringtinnitus.com. So today, I'm excited to share the second episode of my brand new Ask Me Anything About Tinnitus video ser series where I answer your most pressing questions about tinnitus. Uh, for anyone new to the channel, my name is Glenn Schweitzer and I'm the author of the book Rewiring Tinnitus and the blog of the same name. I also write a monthly tinnitus column at healthyhearing.com. And for the last eight years, I've worked with nearly 1,000 tinnitus patients one-on-one -on -one from all over the world as a tinnitus coach, helping people to habituate as quickly as possible to find lasting relief from the ringing in their ears. So in today's video, I will be answering another important question about tinnitus habituation. Is it possible to habituate to tinnitus that changes and fluctuates a lot or is occurring intermittently and is changing day to day? Now, before I say anything else, I want to be very clear. Habituation is still absolutely 100% possible in cases of intermittent or fluctuating tinnitus. I have worked with and personally witnessed so many tinnitus sufferers who successfully habituated in these types of situations. And I'm going to discuss a few of these case studies later on in the video. Uh, but first things first, it's important to understand that when you're talking about tinnitus, the actual sounds that people hear vary wildly from person to person. I've worked with tinnitus patients experiencing every type of sound you can imagine, and many that you probably couldn't. And a lot of people experience multiple sounds at once. Even when you experience like a more uh, constant or consistent tinnitus sound, it can still spike and fluctuate from time to time. But for a lot of tinnitus sufferers, the sound, or sounds, plural, change and fluctuate in quality, volume, or intensity, either from day to day, throughout the day, or both. When your tinnitus changes frequently, there's additional emotional challenges that need to be addressed for habituation to occur, and it can take a little bit longer, at least compared to cases where a person's trying to habituate to a more constant sound. Uh, in a lot of ways, it's a bit like trying to hit like a moving target. For example, a patient with intermittent tinnitus may experience no tinnitus at all one day, then loud, piercing, tonal tinnitus the next day, and then a quiet buzzing sound the next. Sometimes this will occur in a cyclical pattern, other times it'll seem random. And I don't know why this happens. I've never seen an adequate explanation as to how a person's tinnitus can be gone entirely one day and then super loud the next. But I know how challenging it can be. Having days off can feel wonderful at first, but it often leads to a kind of emotional whiplash and it can make the process of habituation a lot more confusing. For starters, it can make you feel like you need the tinnitus to go away entirely for you to be happy because some days it's not there and those are likely the only days where you actually do feel happy and functional. But habituation doesn't make tinnitus go away and so this can't be the goal. The goal is to be equally happy and comfortable regardless of what the tinnitus sounds like on any given day. Expectations are another challenge for patients with intermittent or fluctuating tinnitus. If you expect your tinnitus to be quieter or, or a type of sound that's easier for you to tolerate when you wake up tomorrow, let's say, and what you actually wake up with is not as quiet or tolerable as you expected, it's likely going to end up being a really challenging and difficult day even if the sound is not that intense, simply because it failed to meet your expectations. And after a while, many patients report that they can't even enjoy the good days, good days, because it can feel like you're just waiting for the other shoe to drop. Um, but none of these challenges are insurmountable. It might take a little longer and additional strategies are necessary, but you can still fully habituate, even when your sounds change every single day. Living with fluctuating and intermittent tinnitus, it's a lot like living next to a noisy road or in a busy city. The sounds you hear will vary constantly. You're not hearing the same th thing every day environmentally. And you're going to notice them all at first, but after a while you just stop paying attention to them and you stop reacting to those sounds. Now on the positive side, in, in my experience working with patients, most people with fluctuating or intermittent tinnitus notice that the pattern and intensity of their fluctuations start to change for the better as they work to habituate and start to make progress. So for example, um, one of my recent tinnitus coaching clients was a young woman named Beatrice who was experiencing a particularly difficult kind of tinnitus. She was experiencing multiple sounds at once that fluctuated constantly throughout the day, changing in sound, pitch, and volume on a daily basis. The sounds also changed day to day. 
And it took her about three and a half, four months for her to habituate to the point where she was living her life fully again. But as she made progress, the sounds were starting to stabilize. As her anxiety and emotional response was diminishing, the fluctuations became less intense, less variable, and, and less frequent. Um, in another recent case, I worked with a man named Doug who was experiencing intermittent tinnitus that was changing in a two-day pattern where one day would be very loud and then the next day it was either gone entirely or at a low and manageable intensity. Now, Doug had habituated once before, but had experienced a habituation relapse and was suffering greatly again. Um, and his quality of life was essentially in shambles. When I first met Doug, he was barely functional on the loud days and the quiet days, which were unfortunately getting louder, he was ex experiencing a lot of anxiety, uh, just knowing it was all going to come back full force the next day. But just like with Beatrice, the sounds and the, the pattern of fluctuation started to change for the better as he made progress. Uh, first, it was going into a three or four day pattern, and then it sort of started, everything just sort of calming, started calming back down. Um, and in only two short months, he was able to habituate fully once more. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have a question you'd like me to answer in a future video, please leave a comment below. And if anyone out there is looking for more support on their habituation journey and would like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can apply for my tinnitus coaching program with the link in the video description below. Uh, and we can set up a free consultation call. Thanks everybody. Bye for now.